Hey, thanks so much for joining us. And yes, give us a little feedback. If you view us on YouTube or Facebook, shoot us a message in the comments letting us know that we should continue. If you view us on, uh, if the message comes to you via WhatsApp, send the message back stating that we'd like to, we'd love for, we'd love for us to continue. We look forward to hearing from you. Let me see if I could finish our, our week. Uh, thank God it's Friday. We make that comment not because Friday starts the weekend. We make that statement because this is the day God has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The devil never created a day. Only God was able to do that. So we're not going to glorify the devil today. We're going to glorify God. Hey, hear what the Bible says in Romans chapter 1 verse 17. It says, this good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scripture says, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. It is through faith. Sometimes we think believing God is too easy. Trusting God that he did what was sufficient for us is too easy. We need something more difficult, something more potent. If God told us to climb the highest mountain or dig a ditch at the deepest depth, we would think that we would have contributed, but we're unable in our own selves to contribute to our own salvation. It's a man drowning at the, in, in the sea. He may have been able to swim previously, but now he has been deep, uh, incapacitated by cramps or whatever else. And he's unable to save himself. Now he needs somebody to get in there and save him. Christ jumped in there and saved us. And we're now asked to believe. And my life must now be reflective, representative of my beliefs. I'm accustomed to saying, I do not live by what I know, I live by what I believe. Sometimes our belief doesn't shine forth sufficiently because we do not press, because we do not push. We simply allow things to influence our environment and we do not apply our faith to our environment. So this morning we're going to become rebels. We're going to become resistance fighters. What we're going to do is we're going to implant our faith in our environment. Yes, we're not just going to be telling people, oh, uh, this is good or that is bad. We're going to be saying Christ is Lord of all and his word reigns in all that we do. So yes, could you join me today? We're walking out as an army of soldiers telling others about Christ. We're not picking up arms and ammunition. No, we already are armed and dangerous with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we're going to tell others just how much Christ loves them. Come on, I challenge you today. Let's go. You walk out your house with all your faith intact. And yes, we share the good news of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.